So it's that time again. Time for a crochet chat. Get your cup of coffee and this time I don't have a clock ticking right there by your ears. <laughs> like last time. Yesterday we um, announced the winner of the crochet chat number one giveaway and that was to celebrate a hundred subscribers and in the meantime we have gone up to over 500 and as I said when I announced the winner that we have to celebrate that because to me it is a monumental milestone so it far exceeded any expectation that I could have had in such a short time and this time I am also going to have a giveaway I'm just first going to talk about ponchos today just a few and um, yarn acquisitions not that I have many but I have bought a little bit and um, then about the giveaway because this is going to be you know last time it was my first giveaway and I've learned a lot because um, it was I think it was too long three weeks this time it's going to be from the Wednesday that you see this this um, video for two weeks to the 2nd of December and on the 3rd of December I will announce the winner but not just one winner but let's just first talk about ponchos you know this one that I've got on it's very easy you can see it's granny squares and I can wear it this way around or the other way around doesn't matter there's no front no back my sister-in-law actually gave me a voucher for yarn at this shop thimbles and I went to buy this there and um, I made this and I made some other things this is Vinnie's cotton 100% cotton ideal for summer I've got a, a, a short sleeve well short sleeve top on with a round neck and I just, you know, you throw this over. Then, of course, this is a summer poncho. Then this one needs no introduction. This was the one that was made um, in my tutorial. One for my daughter. I made one for my mother. I made one for myself, first of all. And lovely to wear. Then, when I go somewhere, I like to buy some yarn and make something as a souvenir. So I bought this when we went to Hermanus, which is by the beach. So this might remind you of the beach. See this? And this is a circle. Now, what I like to do is you know the very first poncho that I made? Now, of course, it is at the bottom of this pile. Why, oh why? No, no, it's not. Here it is. Remember the poncho that I made? This winter poncho that I said is like, I live in it in winter. Remember this one? It's four squares, big squares that you put together. Now, once you've made this, what I find is, this is like my template. I, this uh, fits my body. It's nice. It doesn't pull anything. I lay it flat on the bed. Now I want to make a poncho like this, but I have no pattern. So what I do is, this one is lying flat on the bed, and I will make two circles, and I will, let me just get the top. So I will go with the circle to the point where I can see it's sort of, it must fit into the shape of the pon this poncho. Then I know it's going to fit well. Because there's no pattern. I didn't have a pattern. You'll still see me wear this. Um, 
when I have the introduction of a tutorial. Maybe I have worn it already, I, I can't remember. But this is lovely because the sleeves, it's not, it doesn't have really, where you bring the two together, it's just like a mesh that you've made there. Let me just show you, see there? Like that, lovely. And, and it's just, I just started, didn't have a pattern. You can see there's really nothing, um, it's trebles, treble, 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 treble. And then like four trebles that form a petal, which is in the, um, which is in this tutorial, used in this tutorial there, that I've already got on my channel. And chains, trebles, chains, and that's it, trebles and chains. This whole thing is trebles and chains. So, but lovely, if I wear this with a, a short sleeve, not short sleeve, sleeveless white cotton top and a jean. I'm dressed. Then this one is uh, summer, also summer. Lovely and cotton. Cotton, cotton, look at this lacy edging. Can I hold it up like this? How can I show you? Can you see there? And I'm just adding extra here because when it hangs, it needs that weight. See that weight it needs. There we go. And then it will hang down like a fringe, but I don't want it to get all um, scrunched in the wash. So. But this is lovely because you can wear it like this, which I don't. <laughs> or you can wear it like I wear it, which is like this. Lovely. Also just four squares. If you can make four granny squares, you can make a poncho. Then, okay, obviously this one needs no introduction. This one, you've, you know how to make this one. Um, then what I made was, I don't know if you know, but is it 10 years ago already? Time flies. But there was this yarn that you got that you, you can recognize it. Can you recognize this yarn? You use a five hook, but look what I did with it. See, there. Like that that both sides like this can you see there so what I did was this is a it looks lovely on actually you're going to see me wearing it in winter I made now again I use that one as a template I can see if that is four squares then this is going to be a, a rectangle and one square so I make it all the way up around the shoulder and back and then just a square around the shoulder see then I thought it doesn't look nice here where it uh, connects so I made a little bit of a peak a flower a leaf and just embroider the thick uh, chunky yarn on that and t-shirt yarn for the um, fringes see there we go like that and what is the real benefit of t-shirt yarn it does not get tangled in the wash fantastic because it looks beautiful but it doesn't get tangled then this is a poncho that I made that's similar to my template let's I'm going to call it my template <laughs> that is the poncho that I made that is called winter on my one of my tutorials it's called granny square poncho winter this is one of those with a little bit of a difference well okay the color is different it's a bit in your face but I made I, I made the uh, can you see that the tassels are a bit different can you see there let me see what you can see can you see there so what I did was, I 
after I did my four squares like I normally do, I put an edge around, crocheted an edge around, and then there where the squares ended, I actually put the tassels. Can you see there? So, like this, which means there is still, there is, you see, can you see what, I, let me see if I can show you. This is now upside down, just so you can see what I did here. But now let's turn it around. This is what it looks like. I love the effect, so, so that it wasn't actually at the bottom. That was lovely. And then, okay, and the next thing is, this is a pile that's growing. Let me put this here. Okay. This is much more pleasing to the eye. There we go. That is much more pleasing to the eye. Okay, so let's uh, look at this one. I don't often work with chunky because I like a thinner yarn. So this is a chunky poncho, obviously in the template. But look how chunky this is. Oh, and I used this, what do you call this? This yarn that looks like faux fur. Is it faux fur? And that is at the edges. And then no tassels at the end. Just some of this also looks like, what is it? Faux fur? Like this. So. Let me just put this to one side. Okay, and then let's talk about three more. This one I loved. It is a tutorial of a mandala by, it says, Henna Inspired Mandala. Look at this. Is this beautiful or what? see so again this I will in the end in, I always put it a little bit of a slideshow at the end I will put this one on how in the process that I made it so you can see how I laid it on my template because there was no pattern the, the tutorial that I watched was for a mandala which is a circle so I wanted it in this shape so there we go and the tassels here is just very fine. Can you see? Like that. See? Very summery, 100% cotton. And I think this one, does it have a back and a front? Uh, I've got to make sure. No, it looks like it is the same on both sides. See? Now what I did with this, I must tell you, some people say they won't watch a long tutorial. <laughs> this tutorial that I watched was an hour and a half long. So I sat down on a Friday night and hit play. Now you know, if a tutorial is one and a half hours long, to make the thing is not is probably 10 times longer because the tutorial is cut up in pieces. You only get to see a bit of each row. So. I sat for quite a few hours. And I finished. Uh, ooh, fluff in your mouth. And I finished the one um, circle. Mandala. Then. I had to press pause because now there was no way I was going to remember this pattern. I was not going to remember this. And I had to make two. So the next day, the Saturday, I sat down again, pressed play again, and watched that one and a half hour tutorial again. And obviously, every time I finish a round, a row, I've got my first one around, not a row. Why do I always mix it up? When I would finish a round, I would have to 
check on the one that I'd done to see what color I did that round in. So I would press pause. So you can imagine it took quite a while, not just one and a half hours. So, but I was very happy with the end result. And again, here between the two circles, I don't know if you can see what I did there. You see, because now what happens is you've got this bit, that bit. And it looks like it's, it, it, when you have it on, it looks straight. It doesn't look like it's going like a little wing. Oh, because this is falling. <laughs> I don't know how to keep this up. Anyway, but but this is actually, if you look at it, can you see that it forms little squares? When I, when the penny dropped, that I can do it like that. You know, you sort of figure it out. If you've been crocheting for years, you don't really need a pattern for everything. You just sort of need guidance and then there you go. So that was that. Then I have a, ponge, a, a shawl. This is a shawl that I made and it's a drops pattern. Drops, drops. This is years ago. This is beautiful. This Now how lacy is this? 100% cotton and it's a variegated cotton. It starts at the, look how it starts. Let me see. Can you see how it starts? It starts. No, you can't see. Let me hold it up like this. It starts with one, one motif. Then you make two, then three, like a granny square. One, two, two, and then three. And uh, you just carry on until this is as big as you want it. And then this is your shawl, which I love, of course. And what I did extra is, when you put it on, I got, let me just see now. I can't put it on like this now, but let me just see if I can show you. If you put it on, you see this? I just saw it at a shop and I bought it. You can actually attach this. It is like a kind of clasp, not a clasp. See that? Yes, you can see that. Now, doesn't that look beautifully? If it's beautifully draped, you've got a nice summery top on underneath. And this just holds together. Because you know the thing with a shawl is, if there's no shawl pin, the thing wants to fall off eventually. Unless you're sitting quietly, still which you're not always, I'm often not. The last thing I want to show you is, remember Pink Lady? My huge, long shawl that I made. I mustn't say poncho when, when, I, when I want to or should say shawl. Like I shouldn't say row when I should be saying round. But you're so clever, you can figure it out. You know I've made a mistake, eh? So in that same silk, silk and cotton, was it silk and cotton that I used for that? I had left over and I made this kaleidoscope by Marley Bird, kaleidoscope triangular shawl. I love it. But you can see it's a mesh of double crochets that she did. And then your, your granny square. Then a mesh of double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. And your granny square. Lovely. Gorgeous. Just love it. Oh, and by, with this one, I just want to tell you, with this one, I made a cowl. You know, to go with it. Because sometimes it's very cold in winter and you don't just want your poncho. So it has that same lovely... On both sides fluff beautiful okay so I think that covers that then I need to go and get the yarn that I bought okay so look at this oh. so these two are original oh I need my glasses 
not original, not discounted. Uh, full price. And it is by S. Teresa Yarn Creations. And the color is Virgo. And I'll show you now. Just let me read here. It's 100% Super Wash Merino 2 ply sock weight. Now you'd think that's very thin. It's not. Approximately 100 grams, 300 meters needle size. Needle size. Not hook size, needle size. Two and a half to four millimeter. Now anything that takes a four millimeter to me is double knit, which is a three weight. But I bought this because I want to make something like this. Summery, lacy, something like this, not exactly like this. But this is the color. Let me just show you. Let me just show. You. Can you see? Is it going to yes? Mm -hmm. Is that beautiful or what? Hold both. You can see there's like green, there's like green specks in there. Can you see there? Does it focus? Is that beautiful or what? So now I wasn't sure if this was going to be enough because I know when I made this one I was pleasantly surprised that for my size, one of the curly girls, I didn't need as much yarn as I thought, as much cotton. I thought I'd use a lot more and I didn't. So I thought, okay, let me buy these two. And this one was is uh, exactly the same, but it is 45 grams, which is about a 50 gram. It is, it also says Virgo, although now I'm not sure if Virgo is the color name, but this was in their bargain bin. You call it bargain bin. So it was at a discounted price. So what I do is, now this is what I'm thinking. You see how this is, the center is a different color. So I'm thinking, and I only need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares. And if each square can start with this, or have an edge with this, or a start and an edge with this, then this should be enough. I'll make one square and then I'll know how much yarn. So this is my acquisition. Not, it's, it's what you would call a high-end yarn. So I didn't, I mean, this is all I bought for this month. And uh, yes, so let's see what's going to happen here. I'm very excited about this. And then let's get to the giveaway. This, you can see what is behind me. Oh no, I'm going to need my glasses. First, let's have a sip of coffee. What is better than good coffee, eh? Hey? This is gorgeous. So I'd like to know what is on your hook and what are you making and join our Facebook page and show us what you're making because I mean you know me I'm easily satisfied a granny square will excite me <laughs> okay let's get the glasses out so this is bamboo bloom hand paints it says knit relax smile repeat Vibra, Fibra, Natura, Natural Hand Knitting Yarn. Now you can knit with this. I think I would use it to knit a scarf. How many meters? Hundred and forty meters, hundred and fifty four yards, hundred grams. So if you put the two together, it's 280 meters. So, yeah, a wide scarf, but you would use, uh, what, what size hook? They say a hook, six and a half 
for a five and a half needle but I would even use a bigger one because this is lovely but look at this can you focus on that so I want to make it I want to, I want three prizes with this giveaway so you have three chances to win so I'm going to now you must pay attention to what I'm going to say now so this is one this is one right then then I'm going to say let's add this to that this is a ripple and look what is uh, 250 meters and I would make a scarf out of this if it was mine look at the color is that a beautiful color or what I love it so let's add this to that can you see it there right so that's number one and I'll put it in the description box this is number one then I have a set of crochet hooks like this that I bought. I'm sorry for the paper crinkling, but it's still like this. It's got every size from a 0.6 to a 6.6 .6 millimeter. So very small to very, and you can close it and zip it. So this was quite expensive. So this with this, this effortless, super bulky blossom yarn bee. Now I actually don't want to open this because it's, you know, I haven't opened it. But look at the color. It looks red. It's not red. It is a shocking pink. An absolute shocking pink. And it's soft. You know? Anyway. So this, the pink, yarn bee, effortless, super bulky, color blossom, with this, is the second prize. First prize, second prize, then one, two, three, four, five of the, what we call here in South Africa, Picasso double knitting. Um, is there a color here? Only a number, but this is the colorway. Can you see that colorway? Is that beautiful? So I have five, one, two, three, four, five of them. And uh, like with the other prize, you only need three to make, you only need three to make this, um, this um, kaleidoscope shawl. You only need three, but there's five, which means you can make it longer, bigger, whatever. And so with that, the third prize, I am giving buttons, love heart buttons and square shell buttons. Love heart buttons like this. Okay, is that too close? Like that. Love heart. It looks like a shell. Turtle, uh, what, what do you call this? But it's got a, a sheen to it. You see, like this. Beautiful. And then this is square shell buttons. This is shell square. Now remember how I used, how I would use this if I crochet, is on a thin cotton. I mean, you can use it how you want. So that's the third prize is that with the buttons. And remember how I just showed you how I used this little thing to keep the shawl from slipping off my body that's how I would use a button is to just put a button somewhere so that 
the button is there and if you want it it's there and if you don't want it it's not in your way and you don't have to go and look for a hook or a, a shawl hook I think that's just easy so what I want you to do is this you must obviously if you're not a subscriber subscribe so and if you subscribe then I receive an email saying so and so has subscribed to you and okay so subscribe like and comment and I want you to say in the comments tell me I'm going to uh, when I announce the winner I'm going to pick three winners so you have three chances of winning so if I uh, draw your name first Tell me what is your first choice, your second choice, or your third choice. For instance, you might like this more than you like this. So if I pull your name first, or if the random comment picker uh, draws your name first, and I see your name is Susan Bates. <laughs> Why does that name pop into my head? If your name is Susan Bates, you say you would like to win the crochet hooks. So that's one, this is two, and this is three. So you say, my first choice is second prize. Then I'm going to give this to you. Now I draw the second name. And the second name says, they want this. But now it's taken. So that's why you must tell me if this is taken, what would be what you want to your first choice? And if you can't have that, what is your second choice? Then I know, must I choose this or this? So now as your second choice, you can say, if this is not available, I want the first prize or I want the third prize. I hope I'm making sense, right? So what I want is your, your choice. You must say to me, if I if this is my if I'd like this, but if it's not available, then I'd like that. And if that's not available, then I'll take that so that I know what to send you. That's just, if I draw the first person, I mean, there's three prizes, then you get the one that you like. The second person, hopefully, I hope all three get their choice. So, okay. And I think that is it for today. My coffee is done. We've talked about ponchos. We've talked about a giveaway the giveaway and I think this is better it's shorter it's two weeks and you have three chances to win and if you're not in South Africa because this is for everybody if you're in South Africa I'm going to send you one of these three but if you're not in South Africa you get a $50 US, US dollar $50 voucher at Amazon I know with the previous giveaway, someone has asked me, they prefer Hobby Lobby. If I can do it, if I can manage to get a Hobby Lobby near you, give you a voucher, I'll do it. No problem. I'm sure we can figure something out. And that is it, I think. So spread the word that there's a lovely giveaway. Or maybe you don't want to spread the word. <laughs> it gives you more chance to win. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And, uh, well, you want to take part in the giveaway, please, you must give it a thumbs up. And, uh, yes, subscribe and comment. I love reading everybody's comments. I just love it. I love to hear from people all over where they are, what they're doing. So, yes, and I'll speak to you again in two weeks. Bye.